Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today I decided that I would do a video I did a very long time ago, but this one in fact was extremely unpopular. This one has like 100 views on my channel, which means you probably can't find it very easily unless you just search the title, but I digress. Today, I'm going over something that has annoyed me for the longest time, literally the longest time. It is the one thing that I hate the most in this game, and I'm going to tell you why. That thing is the fact the Sword of Kings is severely underpowered in this game. Now, I'm going to tell you why that annoys me. I'm going to tell you why I hate it, and then I'm going to tell you how to fix it. So, first off, what's wrong with the Sword of Kings? That's the most important thing. Well, the Sword of Kings is a garbage tier weapon. First off, the stats are just trash. Like they give you a little bit of crit, like 20 crit, 20 block, and then a little bit of pierce. I think it's one to two pierce. And that is really it. The only Sword of Kings weapon that legitimately gives a decent stat is the Life Sword of Kings weapon because it gives 25% outgoing healing, which is one of the only reasons a life wizard would use it literally every other school it is dead useless now you may be like okay noah that's a lot of wands in this game why does this annoy you well there's two reasons first off i feel like we shouldn't be using the sky and hasta for about a hundred and fit like a hundred levels right i've said this in the past I think that the Skyron has this incredibly unbalanced. I think that it's not even the fact that the weapon is unbalanced and that they need to decrease the damage on it. I think that every other weapon in this game needs to be rebalanced around it. I think it would be much better if they just had weapons from level, say, 50 to 100 that we can use in place of the Skyron has that's slightly better, slightly different. And one of those, I've always thought, is the Sword of Kings. And... Then this goes on the flip side. Another reason why this annoys me is that the Sword of Kings is supposed to be powerful. This is the weapon that we were supposed to be using to defeat Morganth. I want to stress that. The whole reason why we came to Avalon, the whole reason why we did all this shebang, was to get the Sword of Kings because the Sword of Kings was thought to be the only weapon that we could use that's powerful enough to defeat Morgant. Well, I hate to break it to you, King's Isle, but I think literally everyone in this entire planet took the Sword of Kings and threw it in their garbage can the second they picked it up because it is a straight garbage weapon. So today I decided to rebalance it because I think that it should be rebalanced. I rebalanced it so that King's Isle doesn't have to. If there's a King's Isle dev watching this, Please, take some notes. I'm just kidding. I know you know how you how to do your job. Calm down. Calm down. All right? I'm just saying that I think that if they made a Sword of Kings even as half as good as I'm about to show you, it would still be used. So let's get into it. So this here is a Google Doc that I just created. And what it is, is it shows the school of the weapon, it shows the current stats, and then my new stats. The new stats I balanced around the Sky Iron Hasta, and I balanced it around the level. And third, I balanced it around the current Sword of Kings. So I kind of made a really decent weapon based on it, but I didn't make it super powerful. I didn't make it powerful to the point where they do like an average of 15% damage each, because I think that that would be unbalanced. These, I will say, and this is incredibly important to note, I think, are still worse than the Professor's Horde Pack wants. Objectively, they give le significantly less damage. Like the Professor's Horde Pack wand for fire at this level gives like 15 damage or so. So I still balanced it to a point where the Crown Shop wands are still slightly better, just to maybe appease King's Eye a little bit. So let's go over it though, with enough lollygagging. Let let's get into it. So, first off, the original Sword of Kings for fire gives 40 universal crit, 32 block. 2 pierce, a fire trap card, 4 super blaze cards, and a pip. This is garbage. I don't need to tell you why this is garbage. Critical doesn't even really do anything anymore, so that's entirely pointless. Block, definitely, like, 30 block isn't gonna make you want to use it. The 2 pierce is cool, but not enough to make you actually convince you to use it, and it doesn't give any damage. So, I kind of fixed that. So, I gave it 11% damage, which I think is fair, because that's only 1% more than the Sky and Hasta, which, by the way, on a flip note, that's only 1% more than the Starter Fire Bundle's wand, so... At level 76, you're getting a wand that gives 1% more damage than a wand you can get at level 1. Just saying. And I think that that's pretty fair. 
I gave it 70 crit because 70 crit is more apt for that level, I feel like, if you look at most other stats. 20 block, which is fair because I gave it stats based on what type of school you are. So fires is a bit more offensively focused. And then 4% pierce because I think that pierce is even like one to do pierce is severely underpowered. So I gave it that. Next up, we have the ice wand. And this one is a bit iffy. I don't really know exactly if I like the changes I gave to it, but I think that they're at least balanced. Maybe not completely. You could readjust some stuff, but the original one was 20 crit, 72 block, 5% incoming health, ice trap for Arctic Sting cars, and one power pip. I changed this so that it gives 6% damage. Again, this is way underpowered compared to the Sky and Hasta. But on the flip side, I gave it 25 crit, 100 block, which is a lot of block for that level, and 2% resist. Now, obviously, the resist can be taken out of it if you don't like the idea of adding that to wands. But I thought that this was an interesting idea for ice and it would make a reason to go for it, right? Like the damage might be less than the Sky and Hasta, but it does give a little bit of resist. So it might give people some incentive to use this, but obviously it doesn't change the fact that like at a higher level, like a level 150 or whatever, you would probably still use your level 150 wand because of how little damage this gives in comparison. I think it's decently balanced and it offers an incentive to use this as an ice wizard. If you dislike the resist, you can probably replace it with incoming health again if you want. I just think that incoming health is like really underpowered and a really useless ability for an ice wizard. I could be wrong, but that's my view on it. Next up, we have the Storm Sword of Kings. This gives 42 crit, 18 block, 3% pierce. I changed this to 10% damage, so this puts it on par damage-wise with the Sky and Hasta, which I, again, will stress, I'm putting this, I'm balancing this around a level 30 wand and I'm making it so that the most powerful school, most powerful school in the game has the same damage at level 30 as it does at level 76 as 80 crit, 15 block, storm is a more offensive school, and then 5% pierce. I think 5% pierce is like the max you can go without it being unbalanced because any more pierce at this level would be pretty unbalanced, I would say. Next up, we have Myth. Myth is 33 crit, 42 block, 2% pierce. I changed this to 8% damage. I felt like that was fair if you base it around the fire and storms damage. 68 crit, 55 block, giving it a bit more crit, slightly more offensive focus, and then 4% pierce. I balanced these stats again around what type of school role they're in. So Myth would be primarily a hitter, but is much more defensive than say maybe Fire or Storm. So I gave it a bit more block and kind of balanced the crit and block around that way, but obviously has less damage than the Fire or Storms. Next up, we have Life. And this one I needed to keep pretty good. This could be adjusted a little bit, and I actually think I'm going to adjust it right here. Personally, I think that 25% outgoing is a little bit unbalanced. I will say that, but I think they could still adjust it. So I think it should definitely have an upped crit because 31 crit is like nothing. So maybe a little bit more. And then it should definitely have block. I still don't know why it doesn't have block originally which is weird. It's like life is a more defensive school, but they chose not to give it the block stat. So I gave it some block and then I changed outgoing so that it's a little bit less and then it made incoming healing as well. I think that that's fair and it's not too unbalanced. I think it's, this is on the verge of unbalanced, but what does balance it is the fact that it doesn't give any damage and it definitely would make life at this level a bit more in line with what it's supposed to be. If you don't know, and I've said it before, life for some reason has one of the highest damages in this game from level 60 to level 100. So I kind of try to based around that and took away a little bit of the damage that they can have, but gave them some useful stats like outgoing incoming for healing and actually healing people. I think that this would be much more fair at the very least would be much more balanced. Let me know what you think. I think life is the one that I'm most iffy about, but again, I think that this is at least more balanced. Next up, we have the final two with death and balance. Death's original was 35 crit, 45 block, 2 pierce. I changed that to 9% damage, so again, slightly higher than Myth, kind of keeping it in line with the Waterworks gear. Another gear set I based this around was the Waterworks gear, so which has the highest damage out of that, and then kind of adjust it based on that. 65 crit, 80 block, again, they are a little bit more defensive, 
and then they got that 5% pierce, which again is actually based on the fact that a lot of death gear for some reason has pierce in this game. If you've seen the Malastare gear, I believe the death Malastare gear, correct me if I'm wrong, has the second highest pierce out of all of them with Storm being first, I think. So I kind of based it around that. And then finally we have the balance and I tried to make this, you might imagine, a little bit balanced. So the original was 33 crit, 38 block. 2% pierce. I changed that to 7% damage. So not the highest, not the lowest. 60 crit, 60 block, 3% pierce, and then all the other items. So balance is true balance. It's like I took every single stat I changed and then kind of took the average of the highs and the lows and then put them on the balance thing. And I think that that's fair. I think that each of these sort of kings looks much better than the original, obviously, and would actually fit into this game really well and make a wand that you use from around level 78 to, say, 100 to 110. And then at that point, you would change it out because there are wands with much higher damage at that point and better stats. This, again, is not that unbalanced, in my opinion. I think that this is incredibly fair based on what we've been given in regards to the Skyron Hasta and what we've been given in regards to the Crown Shop gear. This is still underpowered compared to the Crown Shop gear. I will say that with 100% certainty. You might not think so, but it is. This gives lower damage on average for level 76 than most Crown Shop packs give at level 70. So let me know what you think. Do you like this? Do you dislike this? I think I, I really just want them to rebalance some of this game because i think it is almost criminal the fact that we use a level 30 wand up until level 110 i think that that is disgusting and there's such a good opportunity for them to use the sword of kings in place of this because the sword of kings is supposed to be powerful it's supposed to be a wand we use but alas it's not. And I think it would be really cool if we did use it. So again, let me know what you think. Do you think that what I made was unbalanced? Do you think it was more balanced? I'm curious to what you think, so let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.